to a story you'll see only on six. A sewage lawsuit in South Florida. A nonprofit is showing Miami Day saying that the county has not done enough to stop pollution in our waters. Pollution that make people really sick. NBC six investigator Dan Krauth has been digging into this concerning ocean problem. Dan. Juwan, this water here is a popular place for swimming, for fishing, and of course, a lot of people also live around it. What a lot of people don't know is that there's a sewage drainage pipe that runs straight underneath the ground be below me and straight out into the ocean behind me. A group of environmentalists say it has been spilling tr treated sewage into this waterway for months now and spilling way too close to shore. It's a deep problem that's now spewing to the surface. Treated sewage seeping from a 60-year-old pipe under the ocean floor. My personal reaction is sort of shocked that this is still happening. When you flush the toilet, it's pumped to a center where it's treated, and some of it is then pumped back out through underground pipes. It's supposed to be dumped three and a half miles off the coast, but environmentalists say this leak is less than a mile away from Fisher Island and Virginia Key and claim the county hasn't done anything for months to cap it. Today, a nonprofit called Miami Waterkeeper filed a notice of intent to sue the county. You definitely don't want to be swimming in or near that, um, although it is very popular for fishermen. In a statement, the county says it looked for the alleged leak last year and didn't find it. <laughs> county officials also say what's being pumped out is fully treated and meets state guidelines. My reaction would be to offer the county a glass of water with that sewage in it. It's not, it's not treated to the extent where it's safe for humans. The county says it is. The nonprofit hopes their legal action will cause the government to take new action to plug up what they captured on camera. I hope that they are encouraged to fix the problems that they find because this is one incident that we're aware of, but who's to say how many other incidences are occurring where there might be other leaks. We're still waiting to hear back from the county what they're going to do now that this leak has been spotted. A spokesperson says they're going to do away with all these underground pipes altogether within the next few years. Live in Virginia Key tonight, Dan Crowth, NBC6 News. Dan, thanks.